Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as Yugoslavia. And remember when I got excited that the Soviet Union was doing something? Yeah, they're not they're not really accomplishing anything over here, as, as it turns out. Uh, but again, our personal victory condition, we're going to call this video quits when we get the United States to capitulate, because at that point, there will truly... Mexican opposition? Hmm. There will truly be no one standing in our way. It's just going to be like mop-up duty for a few episodes, and uh, we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to move on at that point. I would say so we're going to do that, and then come down here. We're going to mop up this entire pocket. Everything is clean here. That's nice to see. Uh, this one might be a little trickier to finish up, although um, you and you do that, followed by that. There we go. That should be swell. Oh, yeah, and there we go. We've done that, so that's going to be a bunch of overruns of uh, quite a number of tank divisions as well, so that's going to be A-OK. -okay. Big overrun. Excellent. We've nuked the crap out of all this here. Uh, so purple division's got nothing to do anymore. They are all tanks at this point. I think I might just add you to gold, because gold is already a field marshal run army, so it can actually support more people. It's having some supply problems, uh, which shouldn't be a surprise, I suppose, because this whole area was, um, was nuked. Uh, by someone. I, I can't imagine who would have done that. But someone did indeed nuke this entire area. Um, so hopefully they'll move forward without too much slowness. We're going to go ahead and do that. And that. And see if we can cut off that little pocket here. Although, attacking across this river is not the greatest. But it's going to work out okay. We're running through a lot of manpower doing this stuff. Although, we're also applying, uh, assigning a lot of air wings. So that's where some of our manpower is also going to go though. Do, 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 do. You... I don't know if we're going to keep pushing. Probably not, because I'm actually worried that this line's a little bit thin. we got to wait for more of these gold guys to actually arrive at the front. Uh, you all are nicely surrounded. Let's go ahead and bop you so that we can free up all the divisions that had been assigned to this front line. Looks like we got pushed back a little bit over there. I'm going to tell you guys to halt and halt so you can recalculate your movement. Or not. I don't know. And... Do, 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 do. More heavy tank types. I mean, you know, they're not really getting supplied, but... It'll get there. Uh, neither one of them are being told to execute their battle plan right now, so mostly just get in position. We're rebuilding some of the infrastructure from behind us, and it'll probably be okay. Um, thank you for the improved anti-air. Close air support over here. Oh, we've got a couple. So I'm going to split you in half. Um, you're going to help out over there in eastern Canada, which surely we must have a better airport for. Well, that's a little closer. And that will help out. Supplies over here for gold armies actually pretty good when you get down here. Um, and I think we could probably hit play on this at this point. I mean, quite a lot of people are still arriving, but that's not really strong. Hell, these guys are retreating. Um... Yeah, I'm going to hit play, but I'm also going to manually tell this guy to see if you can't take New York City. Because some of these will stall out a bit. But we can also swing up through them. You know, kind of explicitly, let's cross this river and then move up behind the river. You know, cut these guys off. Just screw up a lot of their stuff. That's going to be okay. Uh, green group's not really feeling it. Although, you know what? You go ahead, too. I think you're going to be all right in most of your areas. Now, we're telling Green Group to mostly move down there, as opposed to focusing on perhaps cutting off some of these dudes to the north. Um, I'm wondering over here if these guys... No, not quite. Doing a retreat action. It's kind of annoying. Are we still good on tanks? Now, some of the tanks may not have been delivered over here. So maybe before I do some more swap overs, I may want to wait and make sure that all the tanks have been delivered and that we don't have some weird inaccurate counts going on. Uh, our forward movement here is happening very well and very quickly. We'll take New York and then you're going to go for Newark. Why would you have a town called New York and Newark right across the way? I mean, come on. I mean, I realize it's New Jersey and those people are crazy, but it's very confusing. Go, go, go. Uh, so how's our capitulation numbers looking like? Canada's very close. They haven't nuked a little bit as well. Um, it's possible that once we take Toronto, that might actually be enough. Or we might have to run out to, um, to Winnipeg over here, right? Winnipeg? Winnipeg. Yep. 
uh, to get Canada to capitulate. Not that they've got a whole lot of troops over here, so I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. Uh, if you guys can go and take that, yeah, there we go. These guys will all be cut off, and actually they're pretty pretty much just drained as is here, so it looks like we're going to be able to finish off that pocket, simplify things a little bit, and we won't have to be quite so far um, invested in northern Quebec, where the supplies are pretty bad. It's all just, like, forest and, and hilliness up there. Not much in the way of, um, of infrastructure. So everything's completely cleaned up here, very happy with that. Mexican opposition just joined the Allies, see? Stuff like that, it's like very annoying. Meanwhile, Brazil, like, no, no, we don't have to, we don't have to actually turn communists, that would be silly. Ba -da -da -ba -ba. Still, these guys should, we should be able to collapse them, like, in seconds. Everything, there's no other threat. And I mean, obviously we're, we're beating back the United States. So, we have won the war at this point. Um, I have, I have no concerns whatsoever. Uh, taking Philly there would actually be a little tricky right now. So, what we're going to do is we're going to swing down and take that. I could also, like, um, prioritize Baltimore. But let's do that. And yeah, you are going to do this. So we'll get the ability to surround Philly. And be able to hit from multiple angles. I mean, we might just be able to take it as is. But let's go. Let's ensure that we've got the full in circle. Kind of like that. guys are all actually participating. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to be fine. Urban combat is really hard. There's huge defensive bonuses to that, but you can see the encirclement here, minus 30%. Really brutal. Even with supply. They're not out of supply because they're in a city. They've even got a naval base and everything like that. It's just because we... I don't think you literally need every single side covered for the encirclement bonus. You just need, like, the majority or maybe, like, attack from at least four angles or something. I could probably look it up. It doesn't... I don't think it matters that much. You either, you know, more angles, more better. It make, It's pretty clear. Let's go and just take that. That's going to be fine. Baltimore is going to be a bit of a thing, too. But again, we'll probably just end up um, surrounding it and taking it from multiple angles. And that's going to be fine. We're clearly moving forward um, with, uh, with really kind of unopposable force here. I'm going to take the gold army and move down like that. Um, and you know what? I'm going to take whoever's over here. I'm going to make a new army group. With this general. Tell you guys to halt. And your front line is specifically going to be this area here. And, not naval invasion, offensive line. Your job is going to be to go and take Detroit. Meanwhile, the green group over here, I'm going to tell you to no longer worry about coming down here. Instead, your offensive line is going to involve um, pushing pushing west. Yeah, through there, wherever. Doesn't matter. Just push west. It's be a little hard because there's still not much in the way of infrastructure over here, but that should be a relatively decent start. We've got Buffalo. I don't know if there's any point to dropping more nukes. Yeah, they still have, like, nothing over here. Um, looks like they've been repairing some stuff. Boom! <laughs> Still got the 45%. How you looking, though? I mean, we've got uh, about half. Well, we don't actually have Washington yet. Uh, that's not going to work so well in those mountains. Yeah. Hmm. That should work out. Pushing here. It's going to be a lot of concentrated dudes. And actually, taking Detroit... Well, it's fine, because we'll probably have to do this round. Because we'll probably... Attacking across the river into the city would be tricky. But we can do a lot of other things. And we're pushing forward pretty aggressively. Uh, we have air support over here. No, we don't. They have a lot of bombers. Oh, right, I gotta pick from the air bases here. Uh, did we not get an, a better airport? That's tiny. I need to get this one by Philly. Which we have, hold on. Yeah, we have all this territory. Oh, right, it's red because I'm in, like, air superiority preview, but let's take, say we take all this. So there we go, zero, zero? And 800, that's not much capacity. 
We need um, one of these fighter groups redeploy to here and do that. This is probably just needs to be repaired. Is what's going on. All right. I mean, you're just chilling. Oh, you're worried about the lack of supplies. That's why you're not advancing. Okay, again, as things get repaired over here, that's going to be okay. We do have air superiority, so stopping a lot of these bomber missions should be relatively okay. Um, good radar coverage as well. Uh, over here, yeah, we're going to prioritize cross the river over here and get around Detroit is what we're going to have to do to advance there. Meanwhile... Yeah, you can just finish this up, man. Free up a lot of these green dudes. Because a bunch of them are still deployed over here instead of here. Oops, we should extend that line that way as well. Military factories. I'm not going to worry about it. The end times are here. We had nothing left in the queue. We have no one... I mean, we've got the African response, I suppose, I could move over. But I'll just leave them there for now. Because why not? we got a bunch of naval shit that's happened. Uh, we might want to make sure... Okay, we've got the Eastern Seaboard covered, actually, which is good, because we need to make sure to get some supplies in there. So that's done, so I don't think I have to worry too much about that either. Yeah, don't attack Washington. Just... Seriously, just grab another province instead. Northern England invasion. Where the hell would they come from? Like, the Soviets are starting to guard these ports. I mean, at least that's something. And they are trying to ferry more things in here. So they're trying to participate. They're trying to actually participate in the war. It only took them uh, 20 years. Okay, not 20 years. 15 years. It only took them 15 years to decide to maybe actually start doing things. Isn't that exciting? Oh, we took Detroit already. Well then, why don't you guys see if... You can't get a little bit of a surround. You guys are going to push through this way. Just cut that off, because they might, they, they might decide to push north. Oh, excellent. That's exactly what we're hoping for. Get another airfield over here, too. Um, so, let's say from this airfield, we decide to deploy um, some close air support. Followed by some fighters. Yeah, the jet fighter ones is fine. And at least some strategic bombers. Jet strategic bombers. And we get you to start looking after the Midwest. Sure. Turn on all the things. It's fine. And I bet you we can drop some nukes again. As soon as the uh, airplanes actually get deployed. Alright. I'm getting a little low on some org. But no, overall, definitely still moving forward. Okay, we still need Washington, but we'll get some surround on them. And you are going to... Let's keep pushing in here. And that way, and I'm going to get you to push up this way. Just clean this up here. Um, oh, it's a little pocket. Certainly we can just go and bop those guys. Now, green's being spread out a little bit, but I'm actually okay with that. Although it's going to be a little awkward when green actually gets split in two. So you know what? We are, in fact, going to make this gold. And then green... Uh, it looks like that's still part of the same front, although that's going to stop being a thing soon enough. So we'll want this a little cleaner, just green up here. And it's definitely an overkill of actual number of forces in green to take um, central and western Canada. But that's alright. So that got bopped, that's good. They might um, come back in here, so I'm just going to temporarily get some green units to chill on this border. And do this, and then up that way. And you guys are going to do something like that, and like that, yeah. And I'm okay with this. 
and then green will deploy upwards. Gold units are coming over here to fill this in, so that's going to be A-OK. -okay. Looks like we are going to get behind Washington, which is excellent. Um, I could uh, maybe encourage... I think we... Did we get a couple overruns on our gold group? Or maybe I, I sp when I split these guys off. That's what it was, because I know we had 40 units in there at some point. Um, teal group... Oh, this is teal group over here. That's not green, which is fine. If we just do this... I think that gets rid of this entire front. And then we can probably put teal back into gold group. Or maybe what we'll do is have teal specifically focusing on taking Chicago. Let's kill your front line. Give you a new front line over here. I don't know why it's considering this entire lake to be that. And an offensive line that goes that way. And go. Take, take Chicago. You are, oh yeah, you're still not doing anything. Um, can you take these guys? That would be swell if you could do that. You're still attacking Washington with a fair amount of uh, gusto here. No divisions. We got plenty of manpower. Looks to me like we can probably do this. And actually, these guys are all really low org. If we can cut through here fast enough, we can get them cut off and blown up really fast. There we go. That'll be the full isolation of Washington. Although they're already isolated because this front line just says nine divisions now. So yeah, there's nine divisions specifically around here. And I think that's going to be enough because we'll get the encirclement. Again, they're going to have plenty of supply. Especially with their capital. But with the encirclement bonus, it should be okay. I'm just going to let uh, everyone get in position. Make sure their org is all the way up. And then go from there. Pushing into Chicago. Um, green... You guys are... Let me redraw this, because I actually don't like the path you're, you're looking to take. How come you're not pushing... Why do you insist on going through that way? And backwards. Okay, Green, let me redraw your front line, because I think there might be some leftover somewhere that's causing some confusion. Come on. This is your front line, and your offensive line is going to be just something like that to start. There we go. That's going to be okay. We can hit play right away. Silver groups hanging back. Let's double check. Um, we can actually tell you to start garrisoning more of these areas now. And you'll keep watching the ports. And kill suppression as well. Or kill resistance. Okay. Okay. Y'all are going to hammer Washington. That is still really tough over there. We do have the encirclement bonus. Oh, they have forts over here. Really? Level 10 land fort. All right. Well, you know what? Color me impressed. Let's um, let's tend to tell these fellas to just stop. So these nine divisions will just chill around here and not auto attack. It'll keep things um, contained. We will have to send uh, more forces there. Probably to do the, the killer sort of capitulation blow. But for now, that's going to be okay. Uh, gold group, do you actually have a front line anymore? No, you don't. Or offensive line, I should say. Keep pushing down that way. Um, let's take a look real quick at the U.S. Oh, they're about to capitulate. You know what? I don't think we even have to take Washington. Uh, I think there's going to be enough victory points we just pick up along the way there. Or we could only take Washington and almost certainly finish it off. But with the land forts, like, what's the point? We can just pick up a few of these guys. What is this? Charlotte, Charleston, Atlanta. Yeah, you know what? Any of that is probably going to be enough. Do we have Chicago yet? We do have Chicago at this point. Um, our little teal group's a little bit spread out. Probably we'll just tell them to just chill and not worry about taking anything more then. That's going to be fine. Let me see if I can punch you through here. Just to say, Canada hasn't capitulated yet. Almost certainly we will have to take Winnipeg. I think what I'll do on my green group is I'm just going to right-click onto uh, Winnipeg here and encourage them to move out a little bit faster. Um, just for cleanup duty, you're going to do that and that. You're going to make sure to do that, just so that no one gets assigned over here and then never do anything. Oh, you did get stopped here, so I'm just going to tell you to halt. 
Um, actually, I'm going to tell you to move up here to Charlotte. Charlotte. And y'all, if I can get you to do something kind of like that, that would also be very nice. Make sure to bop this guy. Halt. You guys move in through there. I want to use the one with uh, with more organization to do it. There you go. Clean that up as well. A lot of there more troops showing up in Washington. Taking it would not be that easy. Although, if we just had enough troops, we'd be able to eventually whittle them down here. So you're still moving forward. You're still moving that way. Everyone's kind of cool over here. Uh, this... We could definitely... Yeah, okay, you're already doing that, which is good. I'm going to encourage you to go there. I'm going to encourage you to go there. Simplify this front line as quickly as possible. Um, we may have gone a little too extreme here. I'm going to get some of these guys to swing back over this way. Give us a couple of different paths. Slice this up. It looks like this is all empty over here. Don't attack uh, Charleston. Not yet. All right, yeah. That's I, they're gonna have a hard time busting out. It's not it wouldn't be impossible, but they would have a hard time busting out. So we'll just keep these guys contained here. The siege of Washington. We've got a bunch of experience for things, but I don't think we have to worry about that. Are you gonna take this province? Excellent. And you can go there. There. Go just purge this, and we'll have to do another little bit of a surround. We don't have tons of troops assigned to this. I'm gonna go and make sure we've got a handful more so that we don't leave that too vulnerable and that they start breaking out of there. Not that I'm too concerned. Okay, so you, I'm gonna move you into a new army group. We're gonna assign you a general. The highest level general that's got urban combat. It'd be great if you also had, you had urban and tanks. But no, that'll do. You're level 7, that's going to be great. So purple army is going to be one that might be responsible for taking Washington. So I'm going to take a bunch of these guys here and send them over there. Oops, hold on. I done goofed. Yeah, you don't actually have a front line. Um, gold... Okay, I can select... Control right click, select those guys, assign them to purple, there we go. Now, gold group, no front line there. Purple group, front line there. And a battle plan, so you can prep for that. That's going to be okay. I might have made the gold a little too thin, but that's okay. As long as they just sort of vaguely hold this line, that's going to be alright. Um, did you retake Chicago? You did. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, and I think we might see about doing this as well. We may have to simplify this front line a bit. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine uh, teal with gold and grab the gold line and move them up to here. And otherwise tell gold to halt. And we need to make sure that... Tell you what. These two purples... And these gold are going to stay around here. Actually, it looks like I could probably do a right click over here. They are not very organized. Yeah. Charleston. It's possible that this will be enough to get them to capitulate. They're right on the cusp. But yeah, we'll, we'll take Washington. It's poetic, I think, to take the actual capital to finish them off. So we'll do that. I could probably tell gold to just stop moving forward as well. Just to make sure we're not overextending. There we go. Got you there. What are you looking like, U.S.? Oh, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just capitulate? Oh, you just capitulated. I didn't actually take Washington. <laughs> Who needs to take Washington to win a war against the U.S.? Not me. Not me. No siree. Okay, uh, Green, which, by the way, I forgot to reassign you a general. Uh, green's going to go down to Mexico because, hey, green, green. Makes sense, for sure. Uh, we'll tell you guys to halt. I'm going to tell all y'all to do this. Now I said that if we got the US to capitulate we would end it, but I'm gonna go ahead and take 
Mexico as well. This is going to take a little longer with the hills, but we'll do all of North America. It's going to be fine. Uh, so gold group... Um, I don't know, sun flank here. We're going to have to put a cut in here, but next episode, we'll finish things off. We'll take Mexico. We'll, we'll drop a whole bunch more nukes. It's going to be a great time. Thanks for watching. See you next time.